all Spartans finished last year 7-17, seven and 17, fifth in the Big North United Division. The team is young and rebuilding, but for head coach A.J. Mott, entering his second year back in charge of the program, he's excited by their prospects this year, but understands the reality of his situation. Well, we're definitely young. Uh, you know, we're, we're young, we're a little bit inexperienced, a little green, uh, and that's all right, you know. Um, we're just trying to get these guys adjusted to the high school level, uh, wrestling at a different, different pace, different style, uh, get them accustomed to what we want, uh, which is, you know, hard pace, go, wrestle, and, and take, take the fight to those guys. Um, it's, it's going well so far. It's definitely a learning curve, and adjustment, but our guys are adjusting pretty well. So I'm looking for, just like we, we talked about last year, that positive growth, especially being a young team. Um, we got a handful of sophomores and freshmen coming in. They're going to start right away, uh, and only three seniors. So we're definitely a young team, but we're looking for that growth every time we step on the mat. Uh, we expect it every single time. So, you know, for start of the season, maybe, you know, uh, it may be a little rough, and that's okay. Um, but looking towards the end is when we want to make our back half push. One of the wrestlers Mott will rely on in the room is Sam Cizzerto. The seniors been working hard to make sure some of the youngsters get up to speed so DePaul can be competitive this year. I'm just trying to motivate the team and keep their spirits up throughout the, throughout the practices. So they, they get tough, and I'm just trying to be as, to be as uplifting as possible. A couple of names to keep an eye out for the Spartans are Joey Rizzuto, a sophomore who finished last year 17-10, and 10, freshman Delvin Rote, who should start at 113, and on the girls' side, Olivia Georges, who won the title at 145, and Caroline Beagle, a transfer who placed second at 235 last year. This is a young and rebuilding DePaul team. Numbers are even, but they're in a brutal conference with some of the top teams in the state, so wins within the division are going to be rough. I still think they could be competitive with some local schools and some other non-publics, but it's going to be a long year for DePaul. I think they're going to have success individually, but as a team, I look for them to finish below 500 and fifth in the Big North United Division. For GuardianStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.